don't like running. I don't like running outside or walking outside. I actually get really itchy when I exercise outside. I don't know why. I literally get blotchy and red on my thighs and then on my arms. It's really weird. Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about how to start your own little home gym. So there are two main larger machines that I found to be a great investment into building my home gym. These were the two things that I started with and I still use them today, years later. So the first thing is my elliptical. I chose to get an elliptical and the elliptical I got was a very, very small elliptical. It's by Sunny Fitness. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for around $70, I think. I'll link it down below, but it's a great beginner machine. Get you started. I started off using it for 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day, I would put on um, my phone on a little stand or my iPad and watch a show or YouTube or something that was going to keep me engaged. That's how I started. You get what you pay for. It doesn't track very well. It doesn't plug in. It's manual so you can manually shift the resistance on it. And like I said, it's just a great beginner machine to start with. I love it. I can still work up a sweat with it, especially if you raise the resistance and you're going hard enough my heart rate can get up to about 180 if I try. The thing about it is that it rolls. So you tilt it on its side and it rolls. I've moved it, especially during quarantine, I was moving it all around my house. I took it from the room. I have it, I had it just like in the corner of a bedroom or like our guest room slash office slash workout room. I had a multi-purpose room and I had it in the corner and I would roll it out to the living room put on the big screen. I took it outside to our patio. It's really lightweight and easy to move. Um, so that was another big plus for that. Okay. So now the other thing that I just absolutely love, I still use it was my hip thruster machine. The reason why I really liked this for, um, when I didn't have a whole lot of space is that it breaks down. So the back part of it just slides out and you can lay it flat and then I would slide it under my bed. Uh, so that was really, really convenient. And it comes with bands to go over your waist or your hips and it connects to the sides on the floor. I personally didn't like using the big bands. It would be kind of uncomfortable. I didn't use those for very long. What I started doing was putting a resistance band around my legs and then I would put about a 20 pound dumbbell on top and I would do hip thrust that way. And those can get pretty hard. Um, that's just an easier way to do it in my opinion. That's just how I like to do it. Um, now that we've got a little bit bigger of a gym set up, I will still use this and then a dumbbell, but I also will use a full barbell just make sure you have a barbell pad. You can do a few different things with it. You can do some single leg hip thrust, uh, regular hip thrust. Um, I also use it for uh, Bulgarian split squats. If you don't know what those are, <laughs> it's really hard. Uh, it looks easy, but you'll definitely feel it. I, I hate those. I have a love-hate relationship with those. <sighs> I think I got it for around $105. I bought this during um, the pandemic and I looked it up yesterday and it did go up. It's around $200 now. Um, however, I use it every single leg day. I don't know where I would be without it. It's compact and it's really lightweight to move. It's made by, uh, Brett Contreras. I think I said that right. I don't know. So those are my two top larger items. I think that are for a home gym. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helped you or at least encouraged you to find motivation to start building a small home gym, just get your fitness going. Uh, I'm not a professional, uh, but that's just how I started. So thank you so much. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.